Nuclear energy is powering China's economic growth. The country has 15 reactors in operation and is building 26 more. Still, a nuclear accident in Japan last year caused people in China to worry about safety. Many are speaking out. NHK World's Makoto Oda has more. It doesn't look like much, but the message is clear. The sign says the government can prevent all accidents. Workers here in southeastern China are breaking ground for a plant that's due to have four reactors. Officials are trying to reassure the public of our safety. Residents of a nearby town are not convinced. If the plant blows up, it will affect us. The government should be realistic and talk with us. If the plant has an accident, like the one in Fukushima, it will contaminate the river. So it will also contaminate the big cities downstream. Everyone in town depends on the Yangtze River for water. Most are deriving from farming. They'd lose their livelihoods if the water got contaminated. Even a scientist who developed nuclear weapons is against the front. He wrote the government after the accident in Japan with a warning. The accident at the Fukushima Daiichi plant taught us that we don't understand nuclear power well enough. I want to warn the public and our leaders. Concerned citizens are starting to convince their local representatives. County officials filed a petition against the construction. A local authority opposing a national project in China is almost unheard of. If the Fukushima nuclear accident hadn't happened, people here wouldn't be so strongly opposed. I believe the government will cancel the construction. Its priority should be the lives and health of residents. Government officials want to increase China's nuclear power generating capacity by around eight-fold from 2010 to 2020. They reportedly aim to have 70 reactors in operation. Still, opposition from the people they govern may at least force them to start listening. Makoto Oda, NHK World, Beijing.